Shalom Aleichem. I must open with those simple words. This world, this world. What can we say about this world? So challenging. I'm talking to people and every day I hear such stories. People are going through so much pain, so much sorrow. People experiencing fears and trauma. Yesterday I spoke with a person. That guy had everything a person can think of, can dream of. Like everything, everything, everything. Was like on the top of the mountains, of, of the heights of all heights. Everything a person can wish for, that person has. And found himself crashing for no physical reason, for no realistic reason, into a place of such pain, emotional emptiness and despair, that he does not even have a clue how to start climbing back from that darkness, for no reason. In reality, that guy looks at his life and he lost it. He lost his life. He doesn't have anything. He cannot be happy with his wife. He cannot be happy with his kids. He's happy with the fact that he has them, but he cannot feel that joy. It's like a block made of glass, like unbreakable, unpenetrated glass that is like sealed, armed, cannot be crossed, that is blocking him from his own life. And he didn't lose anything. But in his mind, we, in our days, in our generation, in our reality, facing such difficulties, such challenges, that we must be aware to them. We must understand that people are going through severe pains. And we ourselves as well. We cannot imagine to ourselves like, Everything's supposed to be okay, everything's supposed to be good, like, no. We are going through tremendous war on our spirit. We're not suffering for no reason. The Creator is helping us to survive and to hold on in a generation that the sages were crying not to be born and come back to life into this generation that is the generation before the complete redemption. They were crying, please don't bring us in the days of Mashiach. And we are hoping for Mashiach and we're not losing hope and we keep on pushing forward and doing things and how can that be? They were the sages and they were not able to deal with the great challenges that we are facing on daily basis. The main thing is to focus and to look and to see and to recognize our real own true greatness. Simple as that. And it's not a lie and it's not, I'm not exaggerating. It's the truth. It's the solid truth. We are amazing. We are facing challenges and difficulties with no end. And there's no person on earth that can understand how hard, how harsh, how deep, how powerful, how meaningful, and how strange and weird are your spiritual and emotional struggles and experiences, and the depths of darkness that you fall into, and the epiphanies and great deep holy understandings and, and, and clarifications that your soul is sharing with you. Godly, deep, highly things. No one can understand what you go through. But you need to be your own true best friend and to appreciate yourself for your amazing, amazing dedication to the truth and recognize that truthfulness of yours and your amazing quality to be a truth seeker and that you have not give up yet, given up yet and that you're amazing and that your soul is fantastic and that you are the real life hero that is not backing off and that is doing great, amazing things. And the Creator is proud of you, and I'm proud of you. And I'm happy to be called your, fr your brother, your, 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 your friend. We're all together in this generation. 
and it's real messed up full of darkness and challenges with no end but inside of us there's a godly soul there is a portion of elokut of god that lives within us and that portion of god is an inner access to infinity don't give up on your dreams don't back off be strong and stronger and strengthen yourself never to stop never to give up on the dreams that you have on the desires the holy precious desires of yours to bring redemption to see the creator in its greatness to see the great prosperity that is waiting for each and every one of us among all our loved ones and never ever ever to judge ourselves hate ourselves god forbid blame ourselves god forbid we are in the darkness because the creator turned off the light and our challenge and mission is to turn it on turn it on from within to recognize your inner light and to shine shine that's your job be that lighthouse that you want people around you to have support them love them appreciate them show them your love your wisdom your talents your abilities your wisdom your sensitivity your kindness your sense of humor all those are the treasures that the almighty gave you for you to share and shine and bless you from above and from within amen RDMC with the Muna project, all the nations with me. Close your eyes, just breathe, see the truth. Don't chase the fake world, don't buy the fake news. Be yourself, your own true self. Don't let no one take our natural wealth. See the good, no fear, no despair. Cherish who that you are and share. Source of power from an endless spring. Light up the in yourself, you they can you. kick you down to the ground Hold yourself up till you are put up your crown King of the creator, holy soul inside Focus on the spiritual and you shall